Hi, my name's Leo, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to hook up a mouse and keyboard to your Xbox and play games like a PC gamer. So if you currently own an Xbox Series X or Series S, you're probably using one of these to play games, a controller. And yes, in most situations, a controller is perfectly fine, but there are some games that work better with a mouse and keyboard that will give you a competitive advantage. So in this video, we're gonna be testing out mouse and keyboard gaming on my Xbox Series X. I'm gonna be showing you how to connect a mouse and keyboard to your Xbox, as well as testing out how good it actually is. Does it compare to PC gaming? So first of all, we're actually gonna need a mouse and keyboard. Whoa, where did that come from? So for this video, we've partnered with AliExpress and they've sent us a gaming mouse and gaming keyboard to use with our Xbox. They've also sent us a whole bunch of discount codes. So they'll be in the description below if you wanna save some money on AliExpress. Those will be valid until the end of April. There's also the AliExpress cashback challenge, which I'll go into more detail later on in the video. Essentially, you have to join my team and you'll save a whole bunch of money on AliExpress products. So first off, let's unbox this mouse and keyboard and connect it to our Xbox. So here's the mouse I was sent, the Logitech G502. Let's take a look inside the box. There it is. Pretty nice feeling gaming mouse. Comes with some instructions. What are these? Oh, they're weights. Turns out you can add weights to the bottom of the mouse. Cool, so this is the mouse we're gonna be using. Thank you to AliExpress for sending this over. So here is the keyboard we were sent. Let's get it out of the box. It's also a Logitech mechanical keyboard, the K835. I'm also not a keyboard expert, but um, I know Logitech make pretty decent products. So hopefully this is good. So it's got some instructions. There we go. That's quite nice actually. And then this has red switches as far as I'm aware. So yeah. So there you go. These are gonna be our gaming peripherals. Now let's plug them into our Xbox. So connecting a mouse and keyboard to the Xbox is super simple. All you have to do is find a USB port. So there's one on the front and there's two on the back. So literally all you have to do is plug in the USB cable from the keyboard and from the mouse into the USB ports on the back of the Xbox, like so. So there you go, it's as simple as that. I'm now gonna plug this Xbox into a monitor and we're gonna test out some games. And if you are enjoying, be sure to hit that subscribe button. We're on the road to 10,000 subscribers, which is absolutely amazing. And don't forget to drop us a like if you find this video useful. Anyway, let's get on with it. So here we are, we've got the Xbox Series X hooked up to a monitor with the mouse and keyboard, and it should automatically detect the mouse and keyboard. So as you can see, we're on the Xbox dashboard and I've installed a couple of games that I think will work really well with mouse and keyboard, and we're gonna test them out. The UI on the home screen actually works really well with mouse and keyboard. You use the arrow buttons to move around unfortunately the mouse doesn't work on the home screen so with the recent release of the minecraft movie we're going to try out minecraft chicken jockey let's jump into it so as you can see straight away minecraft recognizes the mouse and keyboard and switches to mouse and keyboard inputs and you've got a mouse pointer that you can move around so let's resume um and yeah so minecraft actually does work really well um with mouse and keyboard it's very similar to the pc version Try and open up our inventory, if I can remember how to do that. Drag things around your inventory. Exactly the same as PC. So Minecraft works really well. The only thing I have noticed compared to uh, the PC version or the Java version is there is a slight input delay. So for some reason, I, I'm not sure why, um, it does feel like there's maybe like a 50 millisecond delay between using the mouse and the actual screen moving, uh, which is a bit annoying, but in a game like Minecraft, it's not the end of the world. Um, so I would probably give this an 8 out of 10. And obviously just like the PC version, you've got access to all the uh, graphic settings, just like the PC version. So you can change the FOV, um, change the render distance, anti-aliasing, frame limit. Something very cool I have noticed about this Logitech mouse, if we take a closer look, as you can see the scroll wheel is clicky, but you can press that and it basically makes it into a smooth scroll wheel. I think for, for gaming, this is probably better. But let's say you're browsing the web, this might be more useful for scrolling up and down uh, web pages. So you've, you've now got the choice. So I'm now quickly gonna talk about the sponsor of today's video, AliExpress, who have kindly provided us with the mouse and keyboard 
to create this video with. So they were quite keen for me to tell you about a few ways you can save money on AliExpress. The first is with my exclusive discount codes that'll be in the description below. Put one of these codes at the checkout and you can save up to 35 pounds. But these codes are actually stock and time limited. They run out at the end of April. So if you are planning on picking something up from AliExpress, you might as well save a bit of money and use them before the end of April. So the second deal AliExpress has for you is the cash back challenge. You're probably asking, what is the cash back challenge? So essentially all you have to do is join my team on the AliExpress app and you'll start receiving 2% cash back on any purchase. And with the more points you earn, you can increase this amount up to 10% cash back or 400 pounds. How do you join my AliExpress cash back team? Well, there's three ways. The first way is there'll be a link in the description. The second way is you can scan this QR code. Third way is go on the AliExpress app and search Leo and it should literally be the first thing that pops up. And it should look something like this. So join my team and start earning money back on your AliExpress purchases. So the next game we're gonna test is Atomic Fool, which is a game that was released a couple of months ago. It's an apocalyptic game based in the UK. Let's give it a go. Yeah, I've got no complaints here. This actually feels really good. Um, unlike Minecraft, there's no input delay. This feels very responsive, very smooth. Um, and the controls, as far as I'm aware, are pretty much identical to playing on PC. Oh, I've just glitched myself. I might try and play this game completely with mouse and keyboard and see how it goes actually a pretty good looking game. So yes, you can play Atomic Fool on Xbox with mouse and keyboard, perfectly fine. And um, the only thing I've noticed, which I wish they added, this may also be the case with the PC version, but I can't find an FOV slider. I'd quite like to play with a slightly wider field of view. Um, that would just be my preference. So as you can see, you've got a mouse pointer in the menu, which works perfectly fine. One thing I do quickly want to show you, if you press the Windows button on the keyboard, it opens up this menu. So it's the same as pressing the Xbox button on the controller. So we're now gonna play Call of Duty and see how good the mouse and keyboard support is. That's a good sign. Straight away, we're greeted with a mouse pointer. So the menus are working really well with mouse and keyboard. This is pretty much identical to the PC version. So we're in Liberty Full Zombies on Black Ops 6. Yeah, this is really good actually. This, um, this definitely feels almost identical to PC. Basically no input lag, I'm very impressed with this. This is definitely a more competitive way of playing the game, but I do want to say if you do play multiplayer mouse and keyboard, um, I think you get paired up in lobbies with other people who are also using mouse and keyboard and PC players. Um, so the overall difficulty of the lobby does go up uh, generally. Yeah, this is working really well. So I would say if you predominantly play Black Ops 6 and you're thinking of getting a PC just to play this game, but you already have an Xbox, I can't see how this is any worse than playing on a gaming PC. This Xbox even has 120 hertz mode. So it's super smooth. So the next game we're gonna be testing is this open world survival game called Grounded. Um, I've actually really enjoyed playing this game. Straight away, the menu has mouse and keyboard support, which is always a good sign. There we go. So as expected, this game works really well with mouse and keyboard. Um, yeah, it's pretty much the same as the PC experience, uh, minus all the graphical settings. Um, as you can see in the menu, there's no options to adjust the graphic settings apart from depth of field and brightness. But fortunately, you have actually got an FOV slider, which is good. So yeah, it feels very responsive. Um, I don't think this game has 120 hertz mode, but if you're happy with 60 hertz, then this is a really good gaming experience. The graphics look great. And if you haven't already checked out this game, I would recommend giving it a go. It's actually very fun. Essentially, you're this tiny person in a garden um, and all the enemies are insects and you can basically free roam anywhere, craft items, uh, go up against bosses. It's a, yeah, it's pretty good. And it's one of those games that I think is even better with mouse and keyboard because there's a lot of inventory management. Um, which can be a bit tedious with a controller. So the next game we're gonna be testing out is Stalker 2. So I'm very impressed with the Stalker 2 mouse and keyboard support. It works perfectly fine. Um, there's hardly any input delay. Obviously this game doesn't run at a solid 60 FPS just because it's very hard to run um, and this hardware is about five years old. Uh, but it is definitely playable and smooth enough to have an enjoyable experience in my opinion. And this definitely is one of those games that's nice to play with a mouse and keyboard because there's just a lot of inventory management. 
um, and sort of like moving around the map. So Stalker 2 on the Xbox with mouse and keyboard is definitely a thumbs up from me. There you go, we've tested a whole bunch of games on the Xbox with mouse and keyboard. Now I do wanna say, although a lot of games do work with mouse and keyboard, there are a few that don't. For example, a game that I really thought should have worked with mouse and keyboard and may do in the future is Path of Exiles 2, which is a top-down game similar to Diablo 4, which would work really well with a mouse and keyboard. But as of now, it doesn't have mouse and keyboard support on the Xbox. So I went and found this article by Pure Xbox, and it essentially has a list of all the games which have mouse and keyboard support on the Xbox. So this is a good website to use if there is a game you are planning to play with mouse and keyboard, just to check if it actually has mouse and keyboard support. And as you can see by how long the list is, there is a load of games that actually do support mouse and keyboard, which is nice to see. So that wraps this video up. Hopefully you've enjoyed. And if you have, be sure to drop us a like and consider subscribing. As I mentioned, we're on the road to 10,000 subscribers and it'd be amazing if you can get there by the end of the month. And if there's any other games you want me to test mouse and keyboard support for, either on the Xbox or on the PlayStation, let me know in the comment section below. Hopefully you've enjoyed and I'll see everyone in my next video.